Coach Holtman say that you and Kate are probably the two guys that maybe needed this extended break the most. How do you feel physically um, coming off of this break and, and going into the Big Ten tournament? Uh, I feel refreshed. We had a day out yesterday. Um, it's, been, it's almost been a week now that we, since we last played, so I feel ready to go now, kind of back to 100%. How much does last season's quick out against Rutgers in the Big Ten tournament stick in, in your mind as you as you go in into Friday? Um, it's definitely in definitely in our minds, but it's not we can do about that now. We just have to look forward to Friday and be prepared for whatever whichever tough team we face. CJ, just really quick, has it sunk in yet? That shot that you made against IU, you said it hadn't quite sunk in yet post game. I was just wondering. If you kind of had some time to think about it a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I guess you could say it sunk in, but um, now I'm kind of on to the next, you know, the next task. Uh, it was all great, and now we have to be ready for a new season, basically, this, this coming up week. And then I asked Chris Holtman this the other day. I was just wanting to get you guys' take on it. But I know playing a cramped schedule this season with the tournament being moved up a week early has kind of led to some – exhaustion, I would imagine. But do you feel like that might give you some sort of an advantage when it comes to tournament time and you have to play three games and three days straight or when it comes to March Madness and you have to play however many games and however many days? Uh, I guess we, we know the feeling of playing multiple games in a very short amount of days. But um, pretty much all around college basketball, there's some teams have had you know tight schedules. So everyone at this point is pretty exhausted and tired. You just have to be the more tougher mentally, physically team once you go out there. What's your guys' mindset heading into this? Because you're you know, most likely you guys are in the NCAA tournament, so you don't need to win this. But you came up short of the regular season Big Ten tournament, an opportunity to, to get a ring. What you know? What's kind of the approach as you head into? You know? I mean, for me, I mean, I need my ring, so <laughs> got you. We uh, didn't get it the regular season once, so I'm just going in there looking to get a ring, win it all. For either of you guys, the schedule this season kind of has a lot of breaks where you guys have to do a lot of waiting around. You have a week long break now, and then you're going to have at least 10 days after <coughs> this Big Ten tournament. What as a player can you do to make sure both that your body is right for the next games, but you're also still sharp? Uh, pretty much just stay in the gym, kind of, you know. Um, definitely can't take too much time off during these breaks because other teams are playing kind of how you said. We just have to physically stay fit, uh, mentally more important than anything, because at this point, we're as much shape as we're going to get in for the season. So mentally, we just have to stay uh, focused and sharp for the, the next uh, postseason tournament. Brady, you just said you need your ring and you know how close you guys came to the regular season. Can you guys talk about like the next game and one game at a time? How do you balance, let's just take care of the next game, with wanting to win a whole tournament? Um, I mean, you just know that's the path that it that you got to take to get to what you want. So, just taking it game by game, knowing that you know, we got a tough opponent on Friday, just taking care of that one first to get to the big thing. That's what we're worried about. How I don't know, if frustrating is the word or whatever the word might be, but to come so close to winning a Big Ten regular season title, how much did that weigh on you guys, or how much did that factor in you guys? I know CJ, you said you probably weren't even going to watch the Michigan State game on Sunday, but like, how much now that that's happened? How much does that bother you that you guys came that close? Um, I mean, it definitely hurts. I mean, just having it right there in front of you and kind of like giving it away, it definitely hurts. But I mean, that's done with now. We just put that away and worry about the next big thing now. Um, pretty much kind of Dre hit it on the head. Uh, we were right there, but there was a point where we were controlling our own destiny and we didn't do what it take to, to handle business. So basically that's on us, but you know, like you said, it's just the next move on to the next task. Uh, try to get this ring this this week coming up. This question is for both of you. How do you view yourselves going into the tournament? I mean, because you were famously picked to finish around 11 or 12th in the in the league coming into this season, but you are now a two seed. Are you an underdog, or are you a team that is favored to do really well? I mean, I think we should be favored to do pretty well. I mean, we beat a lot of good teams this year. We've done good this year, so I feel like. We have all the pieces and all the things that we need on this team to win. Uh, I'm not sure where we're like are we favorited or underdog, but in our mind, we just got to play with that chip on our shoulder that we had in the beginning of the year to kind of because we know we're going to face tough teams. Um, a lot of teams are playing for their lives right now. It's a lot of teams are playing to win or go home, 
them. So we know that coming in, so we got to kind of match their intensity. So we got to basically play the same way. So underdog, I guess you could kind of say. We've asked you guys a lot about fatigue down the stretch and getting rest and stuff like that. The fact that the schedule was the way it was and you played teams a second time for the last five games, did you notice that being much of a change, the teams had more of a detailed scouting report and things like that? Did you feel that impacted the end of the season at all? Um, I guess, did, did you feel teams were more prepared for you? Could you sense that during games? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially for Kata, they really keyed in on Kata towards the second time we played teams. So just adjusting to that and knowing that other people are going to have to step up and make the play since they're keying so good, much on Kata, that's definitely what can be noticed. No disrespect to Northwestern, but do you guys have an interest in seeing Penn State a third time, given how the regular season went? I mean, as competitors, you know, you always want to play the team that beats you, but um, Penn State doesn't have an easy task on Thursday against Northwestern, kind of how you were saying. So, I mean, whichever team wins, we're going to be ready and prepared for either one. It seems like you guys might have the hardest road of one of the better teams in the Big Ten, you know, having to play possibly Purdue and Michigan State again in order to win it, and then, you know, playing possibly playing the only team that you guys didn't beat in the regular season. Just what is – just what is – I guess what is your mindset? Is it – are you guys just focused on one game at a time? Is it just – just what are you thinking as you guys kind of have this tough road ahead of you? Uh, yeah, we're just going to take it one game at a time. I mean, that's really all we can do, just control what you can control. You just control the game in front of you, and hopefully the rest will take care of itself. And then there are still some people out there, you know, that still don't think you're the best team in the Big Ten, even though you guys have beaten, you know, teams like Michigan State and Purdue, and you guys are not favored to win the tournament. I mean, do you use that as kind of a chip on your shoulder when you're when people say that, you know, Michigan State's going to kill them in the tournament or Purdue's going to kill them in the tournament. I mean, but you've already beaten these teams. Do you use that as motivation at all? Uh, definitely. Um, that's kind of how we were in the beginning of the year. We knew that a lot of teams and a lot of people were just writing us off. So we can just kind of use that as, as fuel once we once we get into these games, definitely. How did it feel to have your brother on the all-freshman team? Oh, uh, man, it was, I was happy for him. I was proud for him. Being his big brother, I mean, you just want everything good to happen for him and for that to happen for him. I know that's one of his goals and one of his things he was really trying to accomplish this year and for that to happen for him, it was great. Any like, banter back and forth that he made it, you did, or anything like that? Any sibling? Yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, that's just Caleb, though. I mean, he's, he's going to talk. So. <laughs> yeah. Last one in the back. Yeah, there's certainly been a lot of negative talk about the change in venues and the schedule and everything that's come along with it. But now that the tournament's just about here, is there a little extra excitement knowing that you guys are going to go get to go to New York City and play under the brightest lights and in the world's most famous arena this weekend? Yeah, I would definitely say so. You know, as a kid, you just dream of playing in venues like uh, Madison, Madison Square Garden. So being able to play there with a group of guys that, you know, we love playing with, we just love being with it. I mean, you can't really ask for anything better than that. Uh, this, uh,